Hello everyone and welcome to another password state training video. This time we'll be showing you how to install and set up the new browser based remote session launcher. In build 8275 we released a new take on our traditional remote session launcher. If you're familiar with this you'll understand that you can establish connections to different hosts on your network securely and automatically by pulling credentials directly from your password state vault. I've just used this launcher to connect to my password state web server and as you can see it establishes these connections by utilizing a physically installed application on your desktop machine. An example is the Windows Remote Desktop Connection Utility for RDP sessions or PuTTY for SSH sessions. With our new browser based remote session launcher the same principles apply however it does not use a local application to establish the connection rather it does this right from within your browser. For this to work, we need to install and set up a gateway on your password state web server as a once-off process, and then all of your users can then begin using it. What we'll be doing in this video is running through the install instructions, which can be found in your user manual under the KB article section. The document is called Configure Browser-Based Remote Session Launcher Gateway. The first thing you'll need to do is download and install JRE 1.8 or higher on your web server. The link to these source files is under the system requirements in the manual and if I browse to this link now I'll choose the Windows 64 bit offline version as this is the architecture of my web server. This website also requires you to agree to their licensing terms prior to download so you'll need to tick this option first and then choose the offline source files. Once it has downloaded we'll run the installer which is very basic and we'll then use this Java client a bit later in the process. Next, to ensure that all the traffic from your desktop browser to this gateway is encrypted, we need to use your password state certificate on the gateway. To achieve this, we need to export the certificate from your web server and place it in your gateway install folder. To export your certificate, open IIS on your web server and click on Server Certificates. Right click on your certificate and select Export and then choose a path to save this certificate file. The name of this file must be called passwordstate.pfx as this is the exact name that the gateway references. If you click open this will take us back to the previous screen where I can set a password and for the purpose of this demo I'll set something very basic which is just welcome01. And now that we've saved this certificate we need to copy it into our gateway folder and by default the path for this is under C drive inet pub password state hosts and then gateway. Now if we run a command prompt as administrator we need to browse to our gateway folder as we'll need to perform two tasks. The first is we are encrypting the certificate password so it's not in clear text on your file system. To do this after you've browsed to your gateway folder in your command prompt, go into your instruction manual and copy the line of code which will encrypt your password and then paste it into your command prompt. Before you execute this command, you'll need to replace the dummy password that's in this line of code with the password that you used when you exported the certificate. If you now hit enter twice, you'll see that it's encrypted the password. And if we take note of this new encrypted password, we'll need to enter it into our gateway.config file in the key store password section. You'll also need to open a notepad as administrator so you can successively save this file after you've modified it and the gateway.config file is also located in the same gateway folder. So once you've modified this password, go ahead and save this document and close it down and the next thing we'll do is install the service, which is the actual gateway itself. To 
To do this, go back to your command prompt, and in the same folder we've got a file called installservice.bat, and if you execute this file now, it should install the service and automatically start it for you. Now that's all the changes you need to make to your password state web server and everything should now be working. But one last thing you should check before trying to test this is that you've given yourself permission to use this new feature. And we can set this up under Administration Feature Access Remote Sessions tab. And under here I'll just give permission to all users and click Save. Now if I browse back to my host tab, I can select any Windows machine and select the auto launch button and it should automatically log me in directly within my browser. And just to give that a second test, I'll choose a second machine here which is a Windows 10 machine, click the auto launch button and you can now see that I've got two sessions open at the same time. If you run into any issues while setting this up, please see the troubleshooting link in the description of this video. Otherwise, you are welcome to log a support call with our support staff, and our email address is support at clickstudios.com.au. Thanks for watching, and we really hope you like this new feature.